Game Ranks presents the 10 best new iOS and Android games of November 2015. We got a great list of games here for you guys, and just to let you know, these aren't free to play games. These are all games that you can pay for on the Google Play Store and the App Store. So let's get right into it, starting off with number 10. Ravenmark Scourge of a Stellion is a top-down, turn-based, medieval strategy warfare RTS style game. This is one of those games that's all about base and troop placement, and really actually paying attention and properly strategizing. While Ravenmark doesn't really do anything too new and crazy and add anything to the genre, it's still just really well done and pretty high quality. The gameplay has been compared to Nintendo's Advance Wars, and I think that's a pretty good description. And Advance Wars was really damn good. If you want a good strategy game to cut your teeth on, this one's pretty good. It also has a pretty big amount of lore, if that's what you're really into. And at number 9 we have Progress to 100. This game is on iOS only, and it's really very unique. I don't want to spoil everything that this game does, but it comes off criminally simple, and it is really simple. And it kind of goes out of its way to use your iPhone and use you in very interesting ways. It's a lot of fun, and although it's $3, it might be a little expensive, because the game is just so simple. But I guarantee you it's probably unlike anything else you've played on your phone before. So if that's not worth including on this list, I don't know what to tell you. And at number 8 we have Shipwreck, an adventure, strategy, and simulation game. In Shipwreck you're stranded on an island and you have no hope of getting rescued, so it's up to you to survive, build stuff, and explore an island. The map is randomly generated, you craft items, you solve puzzles, and it's got a very, very cool look to it. It reminds me of some really old PC games. Thankfully though the interface is upgraded for modern games and it's all really easy and simple to use and pretty easy to jump into. Shipwreck doesn't do a very good job of teaching you how to play, but it's easy to play and tough to master. And that's what makes it pretty cool. And at number 7 we have Wizards and Wagons, a game that's all focused around buying, trading, and selling. You go around in your cart from town to town and explore different locations, and the game really is all about buying and selling. So if you've ever played an RPG and you just love haggling and playing with merchants, this game is for you. There's also sequences where you have to defend your cargo as you go from place to place, and it feels a little bit like a tower defense strategy game, and it's a lot of fun. You progress and you upgrade your wagon, your merchant stuff, and the progression here feels really good and it'll keep you playing for a while. It is a $5 game, which is a a bit steep but there's a lot of game here and there's a lot to learn some of the systems actually get pretty complicated so if you're a bit of an RPG bartering nerd and you like games that don't bother to hold your hand check out Wizards and Wagons and at number six we have snowboard party 2 this is actually a fully 3d snowboarding game where you're in control of a border it's a bit of an SSX clone and that is certainly not a bad thing because it's actually pretty decent most people say this is one of the best snowboarding games on the App Store and that seems to be true there's a lot of different modes like time attack freestyle, big air mode, half pipe mode, and even a multiplayer mode. Not only that, but you get to customize your own snowboarder with clothing and snowboards. Each rider and customization spec is totally different, so there's a lot of different styles you can try out here. It's a pretty damn good snowboarding game for two bucks on an app store. And at number five, we have Last Horizon. This is the newest game by Pixel Jam. Pixel Jam, for those of you that don't know, are also famous for Potato Man Seeks the Truth, which was a very unique and really weird game. Last Horizon isn't as weird, but it's a minimal, atmospheric space survival and exploration game. The game is really a big exercise in mood with very dreamlike graphics and atmospheric, kind of creepy, eerie, ambient music. You gotta cruise around space and land on planets and mine them for resources, and it's all an exercise in properly steering and correctly landing your ship very carefully. The controls take some getting used to, but it's very simple, fun, and actually very challenging. It's just a good mobile experience, especially if you like space games. And at number 4 we have Dark Fear. This is an RPG adventure game in the vein of classic PC games. The developers describe it as Myst meets King's Quest and I think that's a pretty apt description. The cool thing here is that this game actually has a pretty well written story. The classic 80s style graphics leave some vague ambiguity that make everything a little more creepy and the music is absolutely fantastic. But it's just a very clever, interesting horror story and there's a lot of game here because there's just so many menus, story things to read, the combat system is very old school, almost too old school, but it still all will probably keep you busy, especially if you're a horror fan or a classic PC game fan. And at number 3 we have Football Manager Mobile 2016. Football fans absolutely love these games for a reason, and the 2016 version is no slouch. This time around there's more tactics to take advantage of, fully fleshed out coaching staffs, different types of managing styles that you can take advantage of. And for those of you who have never played these games before but are into football, this is just a highly, highly technical management sim. If you're really hardcore into the sport, this game is probably for you because there's lots of menus, statistics, strategies, and other stuff to pour over. It's pretty pricey, but thankfully it's designed to be played on the go, despite its huge depth. 
And at number two, we have Brass. Brass is kind of an economic strategy simulator game. It's all about money and monopolies. Your job is to not really build cities, but build industries. This time around, you're choosing industries, building different types of factories, and connecting them via canals, railways, trade supplies, and more. Because it's an economic-based game, there is a hugely deep economy, as well as systems to develop new products and trade and earn more money. It's actually highly playable for multiplayer, and that's how most people seem to really be enjoying it. Because this board game style gameplay really lends itself to some nail-biting matches. And at number one, we have The Room 3, developed by Fireproof Games. This is the third game of The Room Games, which people really love. The Room Games, like always, have been very pick up and play, but also graphically intensive and pretty damn gorgeous. It's a puzzle game, for those of you that don't know, and this time around, you're lured to a remote island where you must draw upon all your puzzle solving abilities to navigate a series of trials developed by a mysterious figure. So if you're really into solving puzzles, piecing things together, and figuring out a story for yourself that's not laid out for you, The Room is definitely right up your alley, and The Room 3 judging by reviews is probably the best room game so far. Not to mention the fact that you're playing for a beautifully designed and gorgeous sounding and looking game. So guys, those are the 10 best iOS and Android games that you can pay for from November 2015. Everybody has a mobile device, everybody plays some games, so we do want to know in the comments what games you're playing on your phones right now. As always, if you have learned about a cool new game, maybe click the like button because it helps us out. And subscribing is the best thing you can do if you are new because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.